Well, welcome back again to Empire Total War, the Well Actually campaign. I did say on my last video, which I only did a few hours ago, to be honest with you, um, that I might just do the turn end. I've changed my mind. I um, haven't done the turn end. I haven't done anything, really, to be honest with you. I had my tea, done one or two other things, I don't know. But um, Anyway, I won't bore you with the details, but various things had to be done. So, OK, here we go. End the turn. Um, I haven't got any plans, you know. I'm still recovering, like I said on the previous video, and I'm hoping both these videos are going to go up over tonight. Tonight is Monday, by the way, so... Um, hmm. So anybody watching this on Tuesday will know this is the second one of the two that were uploaded on the same day. Um, so I'm hoping, yet again, I always hope, never get it right, that this will be a short video, so we shall see. Ah, yes, if you remember my concern was that the Austrians would attack my northern territories, one side deserted them if you like, left them vacant um, to attack the coastal landing from the Venetians. I suspect now this is just um, one after another after another now of landings from the Venetians, uh, which I can't see what I'm going to be able to do about, but if you remember from the previous video, which I should from only a few hours ago, I'm now beginning to build up a small navy. Um, it's not really going to be good enough, I don't think, but uh, not for much. But I'm hoping it'll give us control of that area there, uh, between um, Bosnia and Hungary and all those areas, and Italy itself. So I can then nip, o nip across and attack the it Italian states, you know, they're one that seems to be unhappy with me, and I can't do anything about it. I've tried, by the way, you know, in gaps between videos to get peace with the Italian states, they don't want me. The Ottomans don't want me, the Venetians don't want me. Um, they just don't want it, they, they just um, say they want Greece. Yeah, that's all they want. So their target is simply Greece, which is one of the reasons why I'm concerned about taking Vienna. I don't, um, I don't really need Vienna. Certainly, don't need it for victory conditions. Uh, but I can't hold it anyway. I, I haven't got the resources to be able to put the dragoons in there to hold the place. Okay, unit recruited. Thank you very much. Uh, new town emerges. Right. Well, that's going to have to be a church. Uh, where are you? Uh, no, not that church. Okay. And then failed. Oh, that's a shame. If you remember, I want the uh, this. I want the naval shore facilities. I want to be able to build a more sophisticated dockyard when the time comes. In fact, I thought that would be done by about now. I thought it would be finished. No, it isn't. One more turn. I was expecting somebody to go in there and attack it, but if you remember, if they do attack it, then um, when I repair it, it goes back to the stage that it was at. I don't have to rebuild all the way back through the three, or at least I don't think I do. I'm getting mixed up with all the different versions now, because different versions of Empire Total War do different things, don't they? So, okay. Uh, not Empire Total War, sorry. The, the Total War games, per se. Right, now these, I bet you, can't get in there now, can they? But at least we'll get them in the right direction. You never know, they might even reach. Will they? Oh, no. Oh, well. Um, hmm. I wonder. No. Uh, do I leave the gun outside? No, I don't. I'm going to leave all three of those just sitting outside. I don't think it's going to do me any harm. I recruited a couple into here to balance the numbers, if you remember. So what have I got in there now? Nine. And I've got... Does that look like eight? Two, four, six. That's eight. Uh... 9, 10, 11. Oh, right, okay. So I've got one too many. I need to send one back over there, really, just to create that balance. On the other hand, if he's going to keep coming down here attacking, maybe I should do something about that. Um, everybody seems to have stayed, um, uh, or rather maintained, I should say, their trade with me. Yeah, well, that's good news then. So we've still got our decent income coming in. I think everywhere is um, paying taxes. Oh, no, hang on. Well, David, what does that mean? Oh, it just means that they're static, I think. It doesn't mean that they're improving or going down or anything, because the arrow is just in the middle. It'll mean... Uh, oh, I'll show it anyway. It'll mean, basically, that there's a zero in here. That looks like a six, actually, but maybe it's a zero. I don't know, anyway, but it's not showing. It's, it's usually... I think that one implies population growth, I thought, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's... No, it's income, actually. It says that your income is improving, but I don't know. That's... Anyway, I don't know. Perhaps it is a naught. It's difficult to tell on here. Right, um, quite happy with those in there. Um, well, not too happy, but a small number in there. Um, just to deter anybody from landing and then attacking all in one turn. Uh, can I afford any more ships? I couldn't last time, if you remember. I'm building a church, which is good. Um, do I repair these troops? 
I think maybe that's what I need to spend my money on this turn, isn't it? So let's go for that then. Right. Uh, okay. 1,427 left, so it's looking good still. And these as well. 844. That really did cost me a great deal, didn't it? But the, when you lose troops, of course, you spend less money because you've got less troops to feed. Um, did I move this one? No, I didn't. There's still him to move as well. In fact, really, he should go over there, shouldn't he, and balance things a little bit more that way. Um, I don't want him on his own out there. It just might attack, it, it might attract, sorry, the Austrians to come through there, and that's not going to be a healthy situation. So, okay, let's get him over there then. I think he took some hits as well, didn't he? He did a few. Right, 8:22. Maybe I should get a general in there as well. Hmm, maybe not. Let's go and look at the um, uh, what the Ottomans are doing. See if I need to build up my supports here. Nah, seemingly not. I don't think he fancies having a go. Mind you, he has got 11 there, but he seems to have moved them back, doesn't he? Do I need another unit in there? I think I do, you know. I think I need, perhaps, one more regular in there. And that brings me down to 175. Ah, maybe if one day I have enough to be able to go that way, I should attack that place. But again, they're, they're capital cities both to the north and to the south of me and settling those places is going to be a devil of a job, it really is. So, hmm, okay, two, they are brigs aren't they? Yeah they are. Two brigs in there, one brig in there making three brigs. He's got, I think he had six in here didn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six brigs plus a sloop plus all the other stuff. There's no way I'm going to be able to match that. I'd like, really, to be able to have a go at this. This is the one I'm really aiming for. If I can get a half a dozen warships up against, up against that, then I'll be doing well. But, in the meantime, really, what I need to be doing is building this up so that I can get some better quality ships, and it would be really, really good if this chap in here, wherever he is, around here, could steal those naval shore facilities for me so I can get something slightly better than just the six rate. It'd be nice to have, say, just a fourth rate, or maybe even a fifth rate, but a fourth rate would be really nice to, you know, just to make the difference. Destroy both these here, move into Italy, take one or two cities, maybe jump across and take out Venice as well, I don't know, and undermine the Austrian position. I really don't know, but anyway, it certainly needs thinking about. There's no way I'm ever going to get to second rates to take on the Ottomans, I don't think. Anyway, no more money to spend, so mm, don't think there's anything else to do. Let's go and have a look, see what happens now. Okay. Nothing much. If I can make this one, I know I say this all the time, but if I can make this a short video, then I should be able to upload these both in one night. So tomorrow morning we've got, I've got both of them completely up there, and I can start to think about what I'm doing next. But at the moment I'm not really planning anything, I'm just sort of working on what I had left to do after, um, well, basically after I... I taken the main areas and consolidated my borders. This really is all again a long consolidation time. Do you remember at the beginning of the, um, I was going to say the video, but the series of videos, it was all build, 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 gradually you know, sort of get things in place. Then it was settle Romelia and that was a long time. And So, uh, it, it, so a lot of it is sort of gradually building, but the problem is the speed at which other nations have developed their economies, uh, at which they've developed their uh, military capacity. I'm hoping, because I've got two schools now, I've got some possibility of a minor catch-up, though they are pretty small um, colleges that I've got. Trade agreement cancelled with Austria. And with Prussia, again. Hmm, why did they do that? Unit recruited. Thank you. That's the one in Romelia. Failed. Oh, I want that. I really wanted it this turn. Hmm, okay, let's try again, this one here. Okay, maybe next turn I'll get it. That means I'm going to end up getting six rates. Where am I? Six rates in here. How much money? I've only got 1,400 as well. Can I even afford to get six rates? 1,000 in there is all I'm going to be getting next turn. I might need to start taxing people just that little bit more. Now places are a bit more settled. But mm. Anyway, while ever I don't need to do that, then of course I won't. I can't go through there because that's Austrian territory. Oh, I don't want to be risking that. I might try, actually, when I get um, a trade agreement with Austria, I might just try for... Um, uh, let's have a look. Request trade agreement. 
Might just see if we can have a go for the, um, where are we? Come on, military access. Um, okay, give five, take five, what do you think? Diplomatic, oh, is, uh, your proposals are rejected utterly. Damn, now all they're going to take really is just the, um, the trade agreement, I hope anyway. Do not presume. Yes, they've given it to me. Right, okay, well, let's try that. Let's see if we can touch up the Prussians for a few quid again. Uh, request trade agreement and another payment, you think? Demand payment. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to go for. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, what do we think? 750 maybe? 750 that is. <laughs> I'm going to go for 7,000 or something. 750, what do you think? I can't remember what I got last time. It was around about that, wasn't it, I think? Uh, what are they going to give me? 580. I'll take that. Yep. Thank you. Right. Bit of extra money in the kitty. What's going on with Prussia? They seem to want to give money away, don't they? Maybe I should try for some tech from them. Right, OK. Well, perhaps I need to... Actually, I don't think I do. I was going to say, perhaps I need to put some troops into there. But it seems to me that this is the area that's most at risk. He's bringing some more over here, isn't he? He's bound to be able to walk through this area here, isn't he? Hmm. Let's see how far he goes. Oh, I'll move those into there, so I've got the area covered. Maybe I should build a fort down there. That might be an idea. Everything's been replenished in there, so I don't need to do anything else. And I think the only other thing, really, is to get that 6 or 8. What a shame, that's all I can have. 6 or 8. Um, yeah, 6 or 8. Why have we got two 6 or 8s? I don't know. Um, I can only get one of them, though. They're exactly the same, aren't they? What's that? Is that four now? Yeah, I can't have that. Okay, 1,083. Well, let's have that. I don't know how much they are to keep, but... What's that? 230. Right, well, that'll give me a six rate, and it'll give me... Um, two brigs, making three ships. One six rate, and three brigs. One six rate, and three brigs for warships. Two, two, three, four, five. Um, it's not going to be enough, you know. I'm still going to need a couple of extra brigs, you know. Um, perhaps in there. I'm getting them in here, principally because of this trade route here. I'm hoping it deters him from um, covering that trade route there. Uh, no, I can't get any more in here, can I? Okay, might soon be in a position to cut one of his trade routes. You never know your luck, dear. So, ah, uh, it's not looking good, but I am going to have to start taxing a little bit more soon. OK, I'm going to have to go in with the six rate soon. Once that six rate is built, and those brigs are built, then I'm going to have to go in and see if I can take out some of these forces here, sell some of those ships. Um, uh, we'll just have to go and risk the, you know, the, the quality of his ships and hope that we can match them. Really don't know if we can. Uh, anyway, I seem to have him in here. I wonder why. Ah, uh, still Catholic. Okay. I did send one down to Romelia. Let's see if he got there. Yes, he did. Now, let's see if I... Is this my territory? No, it's his. Right, okay. Well, this is already orthodox. 50-something percent. But it will settle the population. You see, what I want to do... Where's religious unrest? There. It's only two, though. Yeah, but what I'd like to do is get... Let's just move him a little bit further down, I think, perhaps to here where I can see him. Maybe here, where I can move him somewhere else afterwards. Yeah, OK. Um, the idea is to settle this place so I can get these people out of here, get rid of some of these dragoons that are costing me a damn fortune, and just defend this, really, with infantry. Because these dragoons are costing me how much every turn? Well, only 65. They're not too bad. Is that for the full ones as well? Oh, no. 245 they're costing. I think I'm going to have to get rid of some of these, you know. They're just costing me too much per turn. Um, get rid of the ones with no chevrons. How about him? Yep, they're OK without him. What I was going to do with them... Uh, let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's now gone yellow. Yeah, what I was going to do with the... Oh, it's still yellow. 
yeah, the, the plan was to get an army to come out of here and leave the Dragoons to settle the place. But I can't afford that. I just don't have the resources to do that at all. Uh, 518 or 500 and something anyway. Right, and that's the income, sorry. Uh, zero on there. This is going to improve. Town ro watch repression. No, it's going to stay the same according to that. Uh, that's coming down, so and it's quite high at the moment. It takes a long time to settle a place, and it's cost me all this money in these dragoons. Do I now give a chevron dragoon away as well? Um, hmm. You give it a try. Still yellow, you know. Yeah, I think maybe I'm going to have to risk defending the place with those. I can't afford... I mean, that's a thousand every turn that's costing me, isn't it? 245, a thousand every turn. At the moment, I'm going to be getting 1776. Let's see what happens if I get rid of all four of those. I know it's cost me a load of money. I hate doing this, but I think I'm going to have to. Okay. 2756. I'm a thousand better off every turn. It's the only way. I'm going to have to replace them with infantry. The infantry cost me for upkeep 211. They're a little bit cheaper, but I'm getting 120 of them. These are 60. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm getting double the number of men for less the cost, and they're more useful in siege situations than these. These help settle the population, and that's all. Okay, anyway, talk too much. Um, but as is normal, um, let's see what happens over here. If I point them over here and then set it off, we might be able to see what happens with those Venetians. I suspect they're going to come through and they're going to attack that port. I've only got one unit in there. Um, and he's just going to have to retreat. He's then going to... Oh, he's going to chase out my... Damn, I forgot. He's going to chase out that, um, that ship. And of course... Oh, blimey, look at that. I think they went to war, you know, with Austria. I know they did. Or just they're going to try and land somewhere in Austria. That would be really good. But no, um, what was I about to say? Oh, yes, if the Venetians come down and attack that port, it'll pop that ship out uh, into the sea. I'll end up losing it. What a shame. Uh, huh. I should really have split my forces and moved some down to protect that port. I, I'm hoping, by the way, eventually to put some notes on the previous video to explain why the um, the sound disappeared. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but the microphone got turned off, so I've got virtually the whole of the battle on there without any commentary whatsoever. Which I don't mind, really. It gives people a break from my voice, and you get the battlefield sound, which is better. But, um, well, it's a change anyway, if nothing else. I've got one or two nice close-ups, actually. There's some bayonet action on there, so if anybody did get a bit frustrated by it, thinking, oh, there's no sound on this, I don't know what on earth he's doing, then it is worth sort of... Uh, I don't know, sliding forward, you know, the little slider until you get to the battle scene because it's nice to see some of that close combat stuff. Right, okay. Building completed, that's good. Should help settle the place, etc. Unit recruited, yeah, that's another one of those brigs. Ah, I should have a bit more money to pay for them now. New town emerges, Bosnia. Um, right, I don't really need to settle the populations, but what I want to do is get everybody back to. Um, I know I need money, but oh, blimey, I don't need a school. What I need is. A church school, yeah. What I need to do is is convert it. You see that one is Muslim, or Islam rather. Yeah, what I need to do is convert everything um, so that um, everywhere is perfectly settled. Okay, uh, technology theft, well not only that, so that I can then bring my my ministers or whatever you call them, the orthodox people, over to, and somebody once told me, didn't know what they were called, but there you go, um, over to these other places and then alter them and um, over to my religion. Technology theft failed, what a shame. That's so the one I want, really, but, you know, I'd have been upgrading that port now instead of um, uh, raising a six rate. Uh, 2,700, not bad, though. He's still got... Uh, what's he got in here? He's still got 11 there, and he's looking threatening. I still want to take units out of here, and I also want to recruit in here. I don't think he's going to be able to get those troops onto me before I can recruit. I don't think he can. So let's recruit then. Um, recruit one, perhaps two, maybe? Yep. Okay, and then can I get rid of some of these again? Let's take out two, see what happens. Yeah, place is settled. I'm going to have to get rid of them, I'm afraid. 
Oh, I hate doing this. Right, okay. Just disband those two. Right, and that place is happy. Um, and we'll have to learn to defend it, won't we, with the resources we've got. Have they improved defences in there as well? They are. I don't like the improved defences. I'd much rather have the normal ones. Crikey, I could destroy it, couldn't I? <laughs> dismantle it. But it'd be alright if I could dismantle it down to the level that I want it to be, but I can't. How are we doing with technology? Three away, and three away. No, five away, actually. Five away, and three away. We need some more gentlemen, don't we, really, to get this research improved a little. Right, OK, um, I don't want to improve these. What I might do... Ah, uh, actually, no, I'm going to use them. I know what I'm going to do with those. Yeah, he doesn't need to be in there. He really needs to be swapped with the 16. So let's bring the 16 out of here. Because there's no threat to this one here, is there? Bring the 16 out to here. Yep. OK. Are they still on yellow, by the way? They are, yeah. I could have got rid of another one. OK, and then put the 60 in there instead. Because he can help defend it much better than a 16 can. And the 16 can defend the port just as well as a 60. So there's no point, really, in doing anything but that, really. OK. Uh, I didn't leave anybody in there, did I? No, I didn't. Right, and these. Yeah, OK, only 60. So, yeah, I, I think that's going to be the way to do it, isn't it? Right, OK, so we're gradually improving the place. Four lots of infantry against 11 attacking. I think we should be OK with the, um, what I'm calling civil defence units, uh, with a backup from some dragoons in there. We should be OK. Right, maybe I should start getting rid of some of these dragoons up here as well. They're just so good for settling places, but do I need to be paying for them when I don't need places to be settled? Oh, I don't think I do. Now what do I do about this unit here? Do I have something big enough to be able to hold him back? I think I do. I think I'm going to have to dispatch some troops down to here in case he decides to come through. I'm not even sure if he's got military access. But looking at that, it looks to me as though he's already in that territory. He's already in Austrian territory, which means he does, of course, have military access. Hmm, right, OK. I'm going to have to defend this. Uh, let's um, bring some troops... How many has he got in there, did we say? Three. Right, OK, so if I move... Yeah, I don't need guns in the defence of a town anyway, do I? So let's move two guns across. To here, perhaps. Yep. Right, OK, and then if I move... So I don't really need horse to defend... Uh, a town either. I don't need the general either, actually, to be quite frank with you. So let's get him out of there as well. Right, OK, now I do need some foot. So let's get a couple of foot units, leaving four in there to defend the fort. I think that might be enough. It's easily enough. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five... Eight to defend against those four. Easily done. Um, these four, five, whatever against there, it's not looking good. I think what I'll do, actually, is I will change my options, game settings, and I'll go back to a 20 per turn, so that he doesn't just stand off and fire at me. Game setting right back, resume game. So it makes any battle where he engages me go that little bit quicker. So four and one, and then over here I've got... Three, four, I've got five. Uh, I think maybe... Um, Maybe one more. Uh, one, two, three. I need four in there. And I need four in... I think I'm going to have to leave it, actually, to be honest with you. I really do. Perhaps one horse into here, just to steady things a little. Right, OK. Um, I think that's about it. Um, am I approaching the time? No. Only 25 minutes. Might have time for another game turn. Do I raise another ship in here in the meantime to add to... Can do. And... Do you know... No, I can't afford another one. I, I know I can't get one in here anyway. But I could have got one in here, couldn't I? I'm now going to have... Um, one plus four, making five brigs, plus one six rate. So that's going to be six ships ready for a sea battle next turn against these six warships. One, two, three, four five, and then that one there, the sloop, making six. 
I think that's a battle we might just win. If I was to recruit perhaps one, maybe two more, that really would tip the balance. I wonder if I can get one more. I can't afford one more. Um, I don't really want a sloop. Sloops are nice for chasing people down, but I think in an encounter like that, I'm not going to need that. I'm going to need somebody that can fight. So, not quite done. One more turn. What else can I recruit in there? Can't afford another six ray. I can afford a sloop, and that's it. Yeah, so I don't get anything any cheaper, do I? Right, okay, well, oh, I think that's about it. Let's hope I can get... In fact, should we get rid of some of these dragoons up here? I don't think we need these dragoons. I can't see myself taking Venice. Not Venice, Vienna. Uh, there's, there's a unit of dragoons up there. And a unit of dragoons in there. I wonder if I just go... No, I'm going to tempt him, aren't I, too much? I think I need... No, I'm going to stick with that. I'll stick with those in there. How much do these cost? Let's just check these. 81. Nah, they're nothing, are they? So, Right, OK, let's go on then. Find out what the next one brings on. Perhaps we're due another Venetian attack, with which I can divide these and these and attack them with those. So, OK, let's go for it. See what happens. I know I'm being a bit ambitious with this navy, aren't I? Having no naval technology whatsoever. Um, having hardly any places where I can even recruit. Um, it would have been nice, wouldn't it, actually, to have the um, Prussians decide they don't want to trade with me again and uh, I can get some money off them. Do you know, I'll tell you what, I didn't check. I didn't check for bankruptcy or anything like that. I've no idea how much I'm going to make next turn. Oh dear. I know the Austrians are at war with the Prussians. Uh, well, they were. It tells me when somebody's at war. It doesn't tell me when somebody's made peace. I could do with watching these Prussians, actually, just to see if they do attack. Oh, they're not going to do anything, are they? It's just gone... All these things are happening where I can't see them, so that's why it's all gone still. Right. Well, I hope that's why it's all gone still. Ah! Something did... And it's right across the Austrian territory. I'm just going to check, actually, that the Prussians really are at war with the Austrians. I know the Prussians want Vienna. I know that is one of their targets. Ah, uh, now he is coming my way. That's because I've emptied it of those dragoons. But I can't defend everywhere, you know. Defending on two fronts is too difficult for me, I think. Yeah, the Russians, they're, they're holding my back door. Hey, I watched that film, The 300, again, um, a couple of nights ago. Just reminded me there, you know, they got that sort of wicked hunchback. They made it all a bit science fiction-like, didn't they? It was a bit weird, I thought. But um, anyway, the, uh, the hunchback comes around and uh, betrays him, doesn't he? Betrays... What's his name? I've forgotten his name, the king now. OK, port blockaded. Oh, great. Right, that's going to take my income down. Ah, maybe I got my ships out at just the right time, then. Um, maybe I've got enough to take him out. Who's attacking me? Oh, uh, it's those. Has he added to it? One, two, three, four, five, six warships. Against... Oh, didn't I recruit one in there? He's not come out. He's prevented that one. Damn, that's why he's done it. Uh, do I wait one more turn? Let's see if my technology failed or succeeded. Trade agreement cancelled with Austria. Well, let's see if I can get it back again. Oh, but not with Prussia. Well, Prussia's the one that I want, isn't it, really? Because I can charge them, can't I? Right, Austria, request trade agreement. Can I get any money off them? Let's try it, shall we? Demand payment. One, two, three, five. Take a naught off. Five hundred? What do you think? Well, I doubt it. Uh, save it now. They're not going to go for that. OK, well, let's just go... Uh, yeah, I'll try one more time, actually. Request trade agreement. And then payment. And I'll just go for 100. And see what happens. See if they go for that. They want physiocracy. They'll give me a 1,000 if I give them physiocracy. Ah. If they'll trade like that... Let's see if they'll trade a technology with me. They've got socket bayonets, haven't they, of course. Hey, they've got fire by rank. I want that one. Um, will you give me fire by rank? Hey? Ah, oh, right, OK. Fire by rank for physiocracy. That's it, isn't it? OK, let's try that one then. 
reject it. What a shame. They would give me a thousand. I need the thousand. But I don't want to trade physiocracy. I'm not going to do it. No, what I'm going to do is just give them the trade agreement. Unless they'll give me something else for physiocracy. Maybe I've asked too much for fire by rank, or, you know, by asking for fire by rank. Physiocracy is what they want. Um, I'd like socket bayonet as well. I've almost got that, though. Um, improved grenade. You see, I'm only two turns away from both that and that, so I don't really need any of those. Um, irrigation would give me more money. Should we try for that, then? Something, isn't it? No, they're not going to go for it. OK, well, let's just go for trade, then. Um, I might go for money in the future. They're softening up, though, aren't they? Some proposal. Oh, no, they won't even go for trade anymore now. Damn. Go for trade, please. Who am I, Monarch? To discuss this proposal. What the hell? I just want trade, please. You were going to give me trade before. What's going on? Please just give me a trade agreement. I need the money. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Will you give me um, access then as well? Okay, military access. Five turns. I just want to go and take out Venice. Um... So, five turns, single payment 1,000, and that. What do you think about that one, then? Must reject. We'll go for trade, then. Why don't you just give me trade? <sighs> they want physiocracy. Um, I need the trade, and I need the 1,000 payment, so I'm going to go for it. I don't see how I've got any bargaining position there at all, so I'm going to take that. You see, I'm only getting 1,161 a turn. I need to recruit in here because I'm pretty sure he's going to come and attack me. 11 there, and I only have... Well, I've got four infantry units in there to fight him off, plus those dragoons. I think that's going to be enough, you know. How much infantry he's got? Oh, he can break down the wall. One, two, three, four, five. He's got five infantry units. I think next turn he will attack. Do I get my... Oh, anyway, let's have a look at these. Recruitment report. Yes, thank you very much. There's my six rate. Uh, technology theft fail. Damn, that's the one I want. Um, try again. Um, port blockaded. Yeah, this is what's costing me. Here. This is why I need the overland trade, you see, with Austria. They know that. That's why um, they wanted something out of it, didn't they? They wanted their physiocracy. Port blockaded, yep. Uh, war declared. Who's that? Russia and Sweden. I don't want that, really. I want Russia to be occupying the Ottomans for me. Anyhow, um, he has blockaded my trade port. There is little or nothing I can do about that unless I want to go and fight him with what I've got here. One brig, three brigs here, four brigs, one six rate, five warships against a force of that size. That is a tall order because my four are one, two, three, four. So basically my six rate has to take on a sloop, a brig and all of those merchant ships. Wow, that really is a tall order for one six rate. And I'm just not sure I'm up to that. Six rates are just not that good. They really are not that good. Um, they have 32 guns, whereas Briggs, you know, they have... What, what do they have? 24? So he, he's just not that much better than a Brig. I needed a better port in there, really. But I haven't got one. So unless I can take him out on land, which I can't do, and I can't go across on ships... Damn, and he's covering the whole of that area there, so I can't get through to attack maybe a softer target, or pick up my men, or whatever. So, I'm going to leave it at that for this turn. I can't see whatever else I can do, to be quite honest with you. That looks red, like something's blocking that as well. 
Austians. No, it's good. 3,153. Anyway, I'm up to 35 minutes. That's my time out. Nothing exciting happening this time, except the Ottomans are bearing down on me. I'm a bit thin on the ground up here in the north. Um, maybe I can get those back now to there. In fact, I wonder if there's an opportunity for that ship to actually venture out into here and land an army. I can't land an army there. He's going to have a full force in there, there's no doubt about it. There's no way I can land an army like this in there. It's, it's just a joke. It's, it's, it's just not going to happen. Uh, plus, it leaves me to expose that here, doesn't it? So, anyway, apologies for some of the sound loss on the previous video. I'm going to get this one made up now as well, so I'll be uploading both of these tonight, and we'll see where we go with that. But um, uh, it looks like there's going to be an assault from the Ottomans, perhaps on the next video, or fairly soon anyway. He's within my range now, unless the Russians decide to intervene again to get in the way, which would be very nice. Um, but other than that, it's going to be 11 against 9. Only f 4 of which are really particularly useful to me. Do I recruit more? Will he go with 11? I think he will, you know. I think he'll go with 11 against 9. If not, he will siege it. That's the big worry. If he sieges it, then I'm in trouble. And in some ways... I would be better off getting some of those dragoons out of there, or maybe even getting rid of them, in order to encourage them to attack me. That would be the best thing. Get rid of the dragoons, or at least stand them to the side, or at least stand some of them to the side. So it will save me some money. If I can get rid of four, save me a thousand per turn, I can then defend that with four infantry units. Or can I against the eleven? It's a tough call. Anyway, food for thought for the next video. Thanks for watching again, folks.